Hi, my name is Billy Morris. I'm a professor of geology at Georgia Highlands College. I've been teaching geology there since 1994. Uh, I teach physical geology and historical geology and also an environmental science course. I really enjoy these courses and I've had some great students over the years and um, I think Georgia Highlands is a wonderful place to be. We're growing on all campuses and uh, I believe that geology has applications in everyone's life on a daily basis and of course that's what I try to bring to life for some of my students. Uh, I'm interested in, in uh, things of a geological nature when uh, I'm not at my day job as well and one of my hobbies is actually making uh, biodiesel fuel. So I wanted to show you a little bit about that process today. Uh, I have a good friend who owns a restaurant and he provides me with a high quality uh, soybean oil. So I go there, pick it up out of uh, the back of his restaurant and bring it back to my processing facility where it goes from these 55 gallon barrels into this homemade processor. Now this is uh, obviously just an old hot water heater. I made a batch last night and it's ready to drain the glycerin off. And I do that by placing this five gallon bucket underneath and just opening this stopcock. You can see it's very dark fluid coming out here. That is the glycerin. And eventually when this starts running clear, I'll shut the valve and I'll have biodiesel left. Uh, this is the finished product that you're looking for, a nice, clear, uh, yellow, almost honey product. Once the fuel is washed, filtered, and stored in a proper container, then it's ready to go in the fuel tank. And I'm ready to go about my farm chores. 